Are you kidding me? Salerno this time? We just had... Ugh! We just took care of raiders. Princess Hildegard of the Holy Roman Empire is now of legal age. She became an intricate web weaver. Ooh. Very good. That's not going to bump your score up too much, though, because you were at zero. Okay. Time to get the wed. Duke of Valencia, Duke of Soriar. Hmm. Duke of Calabria. He's depressed. Hmm. What about if we just bring somebody in who's skilled at something? Matrilineal marriage with somebody that's skilled. Because there's no real... Uh, whoa. Skill of 25. Huh. Yeah, there's no real knockouts there except that dude who has 25 diplomacy. Hmm. He's Valdensian. Nope, 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 nope. Won't be doing that. Yeah, it's it stinks that there's not a better... Oh, now wait a minute. There's a Prince of Greece. Oh, wait. He's, he's just been born. <laughs> um... Where the hell is... Where's the dukes? They were just dukes here a minute ago. I don't know what just happened. Prince of Lithuania. Okay, these are kids, though. Um, what? Oh, wait, I still have matrilineal checked. Right, I forgot about that. Okay. Duke of Valencia. There's just nobody, like, fascinating. Holds claims to these titles Aquitaine, Foggia, and Bordeaux. Well, I don't want my daughter to marry a nobody. Maybe she should marry the Duke of Valencia, huh? Kingdom of Aragon. Maybe I'll just wait, actually. Let's just wait. See if maybe somebody more attractive, right, comes around. Okay. Stupid raiders. Calling them back up. Uh, actually, I probably need more than that. Hmm. I wouldn't mind the raiders if they didn't happen so often. As it is, they're just kind of a pain. Okay. March, boys. Zabor is still kicking, it looks like. The battle is joined. Charge tactic. Think tactic. Force back. Volley harass tactic. Shield wall tactic. Victory in the battle of Acerno. Very good. You guys, he's just leaving. You know what, just go home. Okay. Um... So, with it paused, what am I want to do? Oh, I want to check on good old Vesebor. He's 73 now. Come on, dude. Ooh, you expelled the Jews. <sighs> He's not hurt or sick or dying or anything. Damn. Does he still... Ooh, ooh, wait. Does he still have a daughter for an heir? Yes, he does. Ooh. Hopefully... 
Hopefully his wife does not have a male child between now and when he dies. My son, Prince... Really? Alright, let's watch what happens. His wife's going to disappear. Go with my blessing, you punk. I don't know why this keeps happening. Okay. Oops, that's not me. So, yep, it divorces him. This this is something's fucked up. Something is fucked up. Remarry. Damn it, wait a minute. Stop. 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 Ugh. Yeah, something's screwed up here. I don't know why. But for some reason... Every time Prince Dietrich tries to leave and join the Knights... Uh, Teutonic Knights... He actually just divorces his wife and then comes back to my court single. It's stupid. It's aggravating as hell, because he should not be my heir now three times over, but he's still my heir. Aggravating as hell. My beloved daughter Hildegard is concerned that she is still not married. Right. I don't think things have improved. Hmm. Oh, all right. Let's just get her married to the Duke of Valencia. What the hell? Let's do it. Okay, I will find her someone nice. I have voice. Uh, I have avoided my courtiers for so long. One of them has started to mistrust me. My shyness cripples me. Norbert. Norbert. Norbert confronts Kaiser Sigismund. Who the hell is Norbert? Somebody named Norbert has just confronted me. Norbert is my grandfather. Anyway. After ducking out of Norbert's sight, I realized that he... Is this Norbert? Norbert Chattanooga. Oh, my brother! Oh, okay. Alright, fine. After ducking out of Norbert's sight, I realized that he must have seen me and felt ridiculous. Oddly, the man ignored me and seemed to have stopped taking notice of me. What a relief! Uh-oh. Norbert's opinion of me changes by negative 15 for two years. I forgot that I had any brothers. Norbert Chatenois, Bishop Adolf, Baldrick, Dietrich, Countess Gertrude, Gebhard, who deceased, and Nicholas. To the heroic Kaiser Sigismund, blessings upon you and your house. I accept your suggestion that Princess Hildegard and Duke Tello IV get married. Okay, my daughter's married now. Okay. So, daughter is married. Game continues. Still watching Vizebor. Could build another holding. In fact, probably... Uh, could build another holding, but I don't know. I'm not going to give it to Adamar because he's only got a weak claim, and it's not likely that we'll be able to press it. Um, hmm. So I'll hold off on that. But I do have a lot of gold to spend in the meantime. What's, what should I do? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Arranged marriage received from King Vizepor, of all things. To the great Kaiser Sigismund, peace be with you. We propose that Masla Poraj, commander of Poland, and Valperga Chatenois, my kinswoman, whose husband has passed, get married. I have no objections. My steward's daughter. Go for it. She has left my court for the kingdom of Poland. 
the truce with the Byzantines lasts until when? Is the truce over? I think the truce is over. Why is it paused? Did I pause it? Maybe I did. Uh, hmm. So I could declare war on her now? Oh. Breaking the truce. Yeah. 1341. Yeah, I got three years left. Okay. My liege, it is most... Uh-oh. Bohemia? I made Bohemia. Bohemia. You wouldn't exist without me. It is most unfortunate that you happen to hold a title that all agree should rightfully be mine. In order to lift this dark cloud from our relations, may I suggest adjustments? What do you got, Bohemia? Istria? Osterreich? Brno? Prague, Pilsen, Volgast. Yeah, uh, I think I... Well, let's see. Make it a role-playing decision. I am greedy. So tough shit. There you go. <laughs> greedy will do it. I'm going to accuse him of greed. He's just greedy. He's going to be soon informed of my decision, and he's probably not going to like it. Right, okay, so I was thinking about what I should do with the gold, I think. 2,000 almost in the treasury. Could build up the retinue more. Could perhaps do some more improvements. Let's do a little bit of everything, shall we? Retinue. Um, hmm. More cavalry. Um, more pikemen, more heavy infantry, and let's say that's good for now. Money continues to flow through the trade post in Nicomedia, Nicomedia, but your relationship with the merchant family that owns it has soured. To teach them a lesson, lesson without going to war, you could arrange for a mob to burn it down. Hmm. I'm zealous. Deceitful, diligent, kind, greedy, shy. Eh, nothing there makes me sound... I'm not wroth, I'm not cruel. Nah. Not proud. No, things could escalate out of control. I will not move, move against the trading post. Uh, I will, however, seek to improve my holdings. Hmm? What is this? I don't know why that's got a crown there and a check mark. I don't know. Jousting lists, stables, barracks. Um. How about, how about jousting lists? Are you sure you wish to build jousting lists in Nancy? Cost 687 gold. It's 2,000 days to build. Okay. And let's see, where else? Santois? I feel like I always start here. I should maybe build some in Haino. Jousting lists there, maybe Vermandois. Build a keep here. Um, or just build a training ground. Let's maybe do that. Training ground there. And maybe in Verdun something? One moment. One moment. How about... Oh, castle walls. Sure. Increase tax income. 
and it's cheap too. And I think that'll be all that I build for now. Mayor Simon has arrested an armed man with ragged armor and a spotty horse. He says that the man claims to be a hedge knight, but clearly does not believe that statement. Hmm. I would think that I would say that is clearly a bandit. Why would a knight have a spotty horse and ragged armor? Hedge knight. I'm not sure what hedge knights are. Um, let's see. I don't even know why I would get involved in this in the first place. I think I would just say, yeah, that's... You're right, Mayor Simon. Clearly a bandit. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Very strong uh, commanders there. That's good. Okay, Vizabor, how are you doing? Still there, still old. Not dead yet. Hmm. Let's check the claimants again. Just make sure nothing's new. Nope, nothing new. What about um, Croatia? Nobody that wants to join me. Just wanted to see who his heir is. Holy cow, we're at 1340 already? Wow. Uh... Tivadar, Prince of Croatia. The princess who is married to Borsodeja Gerardeska. Gerard huh. Dangerous factions! Huh? My leash, my mission to Verdun has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Bishop Engelbert of uh, Verdun, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and pious ruler you really are. He sends his regards. Engelbert. Oh. You're already up at 100, so that won't do me any good. I need to send you back to Leon. Ah, damn. Okay. Alright. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, hang on. I was just thinking. Alright, let's check this out first. Dangerous faction. The Indip Independence Faction has 78.1% of my strength. The members, well, leader is Duke Beltrano of Genoa, contains the King of Bohemia, Duke of Tuscany, and King Vesebor of Greece, who loves me. I wonder why he so much wants to have independence. He's kind of far away. I guess that makes sense. Huh. If he wanted independence, I'd have a hard time fighting him for it, because I'd have to go through the Byzantines to get to him. Or by ship, of course. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, we'll pay attention to that. Right, so actually the bishopric of saint Isaac seems to make the most... Wait a minute, isn't that where I've sent you? Where are you? Bishopric of Verdun. That's it. Rats, I thought I sent you to saint -Dizé. Okay, maybe I sent you the wrong one then. Maybe, I don't know. Let's reassign you though to... saint -Dizé, to Bar. To bar with you. Okay. My liege, my mid Oh, yeah. I just read that. All right. <clears throat> Daughter was born to Vigorik, Shatnwa, and Rotislava Igorovna, named Mechthild. Well, I have great-grandchildren all over the place. Well, three of them, anyway. How is young Dietrich? He's fine. 
He had good base skills. Well done, sir. Wait a minute, what's wrong with Wigerick? He's a lunatic! Uh oh. Uh, he's second in line for the throne. He's proud. He's a lunatic. When did that happen? You weren't always a lunatic, Vigrick. I think you got a good wife. Man. Oh boy. Well, that'll be interesting if he... He would be the heir if the game would actually count Dietrich as gone, you know. As a member of the Teutonic Order. Huh. We can have a lunatic Kaiser. Wonder who he where who did he inherit the lunacy from? I mean that I'm assuming maybe it doesn't necessarily work that way, but his mother wasn't a lunatic. She was a genius even. Maybe lunatic is the flip side of that coin, huh? She died of pneumonia. Mm. She was a good one. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I have a lunatic grandson who is second in line for the throne. That would be really fun to roleplay decisions, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Just do whatever the hell you wanted to. Pope Clemens has died and been succeeded by Pope Sylvester. Okay, what does that do to the points totals? Oh, it works in my favor because not many people like this new Pope yet. Good. You should actually be in saint now, chaplain. Open council position. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mayor Simon is no longer marshal. No? Very well, then it will be Conrad, the king of Bohemia. Who likes me less, somehow. <laughs> He's disappointed. Small feudal tax. High crown authority. Foreigner. Desires the county of Vermandois. No way are you getting that. Charitable versus greedy, and he's envious. Okay. Hmm. Anyway. Alright, then you can no longer lead troops. You will be researching military tech in... Ooh. Damn it. In Lorraine. As soon as I can do it. go. Okay. Lunatic grandson, huh? Interesting. I have no desire to make changes to the law at this point. And I can't upgrade any technologies. Could perhaps choose a plot. Ooh. Killing, revoking. Hmm. I don't want to revoke anything, I don't think. Okay, guess I'm not starting a plot then. Um, should I do like a feast or something? It's been a while since I've done anything. A summer fair. Let's do that. Summer fair. Wait a minute. Haven't I done that before? I just did that actually, the last, last play session. Go on a pilgrimage. Would I? I would go on a pilgrimage, wouldn't I? Mastermind theologian. I'm a zealot. And I'm celibate. Yep. Going on a... Whoop, where'd it go? Going on a pilgrimage, everyone. Lose 106 gold. I shall go on a pilgrimage to seek God's grace at one of the holy places of Christianity. I will start making travel plans. I've never done this before. Um, I leave my mission to Lombardy, Duke Beltrano, manage to make him understand what I'm good, 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 okay. Sounds good. Well done. Would you go actually improve my relationship with the 
Ooh. With the uh, King of Bohemia, please. Let's do that. Because I don't want him trying to get independence. Actually, the king of Greece, too, but I think he already likes me a lot. So he's going to do it no matter what. Right? Yeah, you freaking adore me. Okay. Apparently one of the courtiers has been annoying my wife, Agatha, and instead of asking me for help, she took the matter in her own hands and made sure the courtier would never annoy her again or he'd know the consequences. What on earth was she thinking? Oh, God. She pissed off King Conrad. She did the right thing. Um... Ugh. I feel a little bit better about my wife than I did the last time I checked, but still not exactly head over heels. I think I'm going to say, what on earth was she thinking? Because I don't want King Conrad to hate me any more than he already does. Or rather, to have any other reason to revolt, you know. Right. There are a number of different holy places that you could visit on your pilgrimage. All of them are considered most sacred by the Holy Church, but a somewhat closer destination might mean a safer journey. Um, I am the Kaiser that lost the Holy Land, so I think maybe I'm feeling because I lost it, I feel like I need to atone by visiting it one last time. You know, I couldn't hold it under force of arms. Maybe I can visit it as a pilgrim. Uh, so let's say I'll go to the one of the ancient sites, Jerusalem or Rome. And if I have an option, I would choose Jerusalem. I don't know if that's possible. Oh, here we go. Jerusalem and Rome are the two oldest and holiest places of the Catholic Church. I will travel to the Holy Land. Tomb to the Apostles would be cool, though. But no, the Holy Land. A dangerous and long journey. My things are packed. Everything is order. In order. At the end of my journey, the Holy Land awaits. My journey begins! Oh god, I have a regent. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. My liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. I have been appointed as your regent. Oh, I don't like this now. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. But I hope this doesn't last very long. You look out across the beautiful valley stretching out before you. It would be a wonderful moment, if not for the fact that there should be no valley here. You're a pilgrim in an unfamiliar land, and you have no idea where you are. If only I hadn't listened to those useless peasants that gave me directions. I could get, gain the trait, trait Roth, 30% chance. If only I'd listened more to those peasants that gave me directions. I could gain the trait Patient. Um, let's see, what informs this decision? Hmm. Nothing. I mean, kind, I guess? I don't think I'd be mean to the peasants. I'm kind and I'm... I'm... Kind. That's really about it. Kindness. Okay. If only I'd listened more to those peasants. Also, I'm on a pilgrimage, so I should be introspective and humble, you know. Yes. So, sh should have listened to those peasants. Oh! And I gained patient. Which is a plus one to intrigue, diplomacy, stewardship, and learning. Wow, that's a good one. Whew. That's nice. Uh, the journey is long and hard. Your feet are sore and your back as well. Far from the castle kitchens, the food is barely edible, and on top of that you seem to feel the cold all the time. Perhaps you were not quite cut out for this pilgrimage thing. Uh-oh. I'm 65 years old. This is about the oldest age that I would think it would be okay to do this kind of thing. Could say my faith will see me through. Gain 10 piety. There's a 40% chance I gain the trait ill. Um, or I could say maybe this was a bad idea. I'll stay and rest for a while. 20% chance I gain the trait ill. 50% chance I gain the trait cynical. Which I think runs the opposite of zealous. So I think I'll say, yeah, zealous, mastermind theologian, uh, celibate. Of course, my faith will see me through. I'm ill shit. 
As the evening approaches after a long day on the road, you come upon several campfires. Around the fires, you find a group of holy knights resting after a long day's ride. They invite you to share their meal and trade stories. Um... What was I going to say? This Oh yeah, this kind of this almost feels like Oregon Trail Pilgrimage Edition or something. It's kind of weird. Uh, discuss theology. Trade stories of war. You know, I have a lower martial score. I have a much higher learning score. I think that on its own would make me want to discuss theology with the knights. So I'll gain 10 piety and a 30% chance I gain one learning. Did not gain the learning, but that's okay. Jerusalem. Oh, if only I was still the liege here. You have finally arrived at Jerusalem. Passing by the Mount of Olives, you enter through the city gate and are immediately overcome by a feeling of having made a truly epic journey. The city is filled with people of all creeds and colors, the air heavy with smells of strange spices and foreign plants. You make excuse me, you make your way through the throng of people and animals, excited by the knowledge that you are now close to the Via Dolorosa and the other holy places. You plan to also visit the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. But first of all, you need to find some place to stay. After all, you wouldn't want to be forced to sleep in a stable, would you? Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Cool, I made it. 